Major League Fishing has changed the game again with a revolutionary General Tire Team Series. An exciting new format where 27 three-man teams compete for a top prize of $300,000. We can talk to our partners. You can tell what lures, techniques you're using. Okay, you're on the inside grass line. Yeah. Okay, that's good enough. This is the craziest format ever. Like, there's so much information. It kicks off with a Lucas Oil Qualifier, presented by B&W Trailer Hitches, streaming exclusively on My Outdoor TV. Ten years ago, a spark happened that would change the world of bass fishing forever. Today, eight contenders have an opportunity to take home the title in Major League Fishing's groundbreaking event that started it all, the Challenge Cup. It doesn't matter. There's no weak groups. You could hand pick a group that you wanted to fish against, and it's still not a weak group. It just doesn't exist in Major League Fishing. I'm a man who wants to take home a lot of titles. Who doesn't, right? I feel like I have a chance to win this trophy, and I'm ready for it. <laughs> we did it. We're there. You're excited, but you got to stay calm and let the fish talk to you. I love you. Oh. I know it's going to be tough fishing. We're chipping away, fellas. You have to capitalize on every fish that bites. We're going to the finals. Unless you're in Florida or up north this time of year, it's tough. To end up in the championship round this week, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty nerve-wracking going into a championship round. I've never won a cup event before. I've come close numerous times, so this will be my opportunity. Well, these cup events are hard to make, and I would love to earn this win right here. Championship round, here we come. It's not very often that I'm up before my alarm, but today was one of those days. This is the time I've been very, very close before, but just hadn't been able to get over that hump. The championship round bound, baby. Let's go. And then when you come to a cup, you better do what you're good at. If you get beat doing what you're good at, then so be it. General Tires Major League Fishing. It's the Lucas Oil Challenge Cup from Rock Hill, South Carolina, presented by B&W Trailer Hitches. We're fishing against a pretty tough group, I can go on and tell you. We're at Lake Wiley, the north end. We fish the south end of Wiley for sudden death. If I was coming here to go fishing in the fall, that's where you go is the upper reaches of the lake. Typically, you're going to get into some areas, some shallower flat areas are going to have more off-colored water. We have a very large zone to be able to look at, and I'm going to try to see as much of it as I can. Hopefully learn something from the sudden death round here and apply it to you today. It's the same body of water, just a different section. I don't see why it's going to be any different. I'm excited because I can fish the exact same way I did in sudden death. Hopefully continue to develop that pattern, which is not something you get to do in the cups very often. Welcome to General Tires Major League Fishing. We started with 23 anglers here in Rock Hill, South Carolina, all competing for the title of Challenge Cup champion. Eight have battled their way to today's final round. Only one will take home the trophy. Let's meet the final eight contenders. Qualifying out of sudden death round one, he finished first, David Dudley. With a second place finish, Alton Jones Jr. He finished third, Casey Ashley. And our final qualifier out of sudden death round one, Brent Chapman. Qualifying out of sudden death round two, he finished first, Brent Ayler. With a second place finish, Fletcher Shryock. Finishing third, three-time Bass Pro Tour champ, Ott Defoe. And rounding out today's field, our final qualifier out of sudden death round two, Cliff Crochet. With the anglers having no idea where they'll be fishing, they must gear up for every situation. Casey Ashley walks us through how he prepared for the unknown in today's general tire, anywhere is possible. Here we are at the Challenge Cup in Rock Hill, South Carolina. It's in the fall, so these are the baits that I choose. Top water, always gotta have a top water. I love to throw a popper. This is mimics a bait fish, mimics a brim. That's basically your food forage in the fall. I can cover a lot of water with it and get a lot of bites. If you know me, you know I gotta have a jig. This is a little finesse jig, it's in a brim color. I can swim it around grass, I can skip docks with it, I can fish blow downs, any type of brush. Always gotta have that to get a bite. And I gotta have a spinnerbait. 
fish in the fall like to feed on a little bait fish, 3 8 ounce. I can still cover a lot of water with it, even change the blades to match the bait fish size. Always got to have this in the fall. And last but not least, some type of creature bait. This is a bait that'll get you a lot of bites, flip it in wood, won't get hung, cover water with it pretty fast. And that's what we're looking for in Major League Fishing. You know anywhere is possible, and I'm ready for everything. The location of today's competition was not revealed to the anglers until they pulled up to the ramp this morning. For more on that, let's go out to Marty Stone with today's Lake Breakdown. Chad, this morning as these anglers are going through their ride through with their mercury power boats on the upper reaches of Lake Wiley, they're going to have a few moments to reflect how they got here in this championship round of the Challenge Cup. And this Challenge Cup has earned its name this week. When the anglers arrived, it was the first major cold front of the fall. Those low drastic changing in temps has caused the fish to shut down and the lakes to turn over. This particular zone covers over 5,400 surface acres of water and 99 miles of shoreline. There's a lot of similarities that they've seen in their previous rounds. We're talking about rocks, some natural, some man-made boat docks. There's plenty of poles that go all the way down to the bottom and there's a lot of floats so it adds a variety of cover. Occasional lay down, individual boat ramps. There's several marinas on this zone that could play as well and probably most importantly there is a lot of bridges but these guys have got some tough choices to make and anglers like David Dudley and Brent Ayler who went out in their first period know that there's a really good spotted bass bite under these boat docks early. But make no mistake about Wiley, it's tough. And what we've seen in sudden death rounds is the lake transitions. First thing in the morning, there's a lot of shad on the banks and under the docks. We can see that on our Lawrence forward facing active target sonar. And then as the day progresses, that bait fish leaves the main lake. And then we watch anglers that are running their backs of the creeks or fishing marinas start to have success. Today, it's going to be who's going to make the adjustments, who can withstand the small runs that each of these anglers are going to get on. And I truly believe before the day's over with, we're going to see a couple big fish that are going to be game changers. If I can find a couple piles, dude, it can be all the difference. I'm gonna start on the main lake, but I kind of want someone to run back in this creek right here. And we need to get all the bites we can get in a hurry. Years ago, I did a sponsored fishing little tournament. I won the tournament. I won it right here on the boat ramp. <laughs> so we're gonna start right here. I decided not to go up the main arm of the river right now because just the way it's been here lately, They've not been running any current on the main river until like 10 o'clock. Oh, this is like juicy. I'm about to just stop here and make sure I get to fish this. We're getting farther up the river and the water color looks awesome. This is what we're looking for. There's a lot of shallow cover. We will fish this, whether it's right now or it's in a little bit. We will definitely fish this. I, I can't not. <laughs> I like this dock, though. Just them big ones with a lot of shade on the main lake. Something like that, even without brush, can have a lot of fish. One of our guys is over on that point over there, so there's three, if not four, of us just right here from inside of each other. This is the deepest, best main lake stretch of docks, and I'm hoping that there's some spotted bass out here. Um, not only that, but you've got a little riprap, and I'd say your chances of getting a topwater bite here early is good. The water is cooler back here. It's only 68 degrees. If there's anywhere there ought to be some bass that should be feeding. In my mind, it should be right here. We're going to throw a jerk bait over the top of this brush pile, maybe throw a shaky head in it. And then we're going to start burning, burning these docks down, and, and hopefully, hopefully we can get the ball rolling quick. You'll find expert bass fishing know-how from Mercury MLF Pro Team Anglers at MajorLakeFishing.com backslash Mercury Pro Tactics. General Tire's Major League Fishing is brought to you by Lucas Oil. Keep that engine alive. General Tire, anywhere is possible. Berkeley, your fish, our science. Wiley X Eyewear, go confidently. 
and by Kubota. Together, we do more. That ride through this morning was all about just looking. I know I'm gonna have to fish some, some docks today. I just needed to see something a little bit different. I like this little section right here because we're right against the main river channel. It swings in pretty close to this bank. We're gonna start here at this dam. I mean, this is an obvious of a place as I could possibly find. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing. We're moments away from the championship round of the Lucas Oil Challenge Cup, presented by B&W Trailer Hitches. Eight world-class anglers will go head-to-head -head on the northern section of Lake Wiley to see who's worthy of hoisting the Challenge Cup trophy. Today's championship round will consist of three periods. A scorable bass must weigh at least one pound, the angler with the most weight at the end of the day will become the 2022 Challenge Cup champion. The final round begins now. Three, two, one, lines in. Game period one. Lines in, here we go. Championship round. It all comes down to the day. That's what you fished the whole week for. Got him. Gosh, my reel messed up. Gosh darn it. We just started on some of these little bit steeper banks up here in the river, and you know they've got some good shade on them and, and everything. I don't know if those are bass or crappie or what they are, but if they're bass, I'm gonna get a bite right there. I can't believe that there ain't some decent fish living right here on the front of this thing. We're gonna work our way from here down the lake. There's a couple of creeks that looked really good, and you know, somewhere along the line, hopefully we're gonna run into some fish. Hopefully right here. There's no anglers on the score tracker at this time. Oh, it won't take too much longer. Somebody's gonna strike. One pound, three ounces. Cliff Fletcher Shryock, the first angler on the score tracker. His fish weighed one pound, three ounces. All right, Fletch. Just one fish caught. About to change that. Uh-oh, he's got me wrapped. He's got me wrapped. I still got him. There he comes. That's a good one. Oh, that's a really good one. Watch out. That's right. Why did I try something so stupid? I knew what to do. Stick to your guns, you dummy. That leaderboard's about to change. There's plenty of them there. Stick to your guns, David. One pound, 12 ounces. <laughs> plenty more in there, too, man. There was a lot on that dock. Fletcher, I got a score tracker update. David Dudley caught his first bass. Weighed one pound, 12 ounces. Fletcher has his second fish. He's at two pounds, six ounces. You're in second with one pound, 12 ounces. Well, we about to stay to our pattern. No more playing. It's just so easy with this active target, not so much to see the exact fish, but to just know if there's life under these things. And one bite right there, but I think he was probably a little one. Just, there's a bunch of fish up there. That's a fish landing violation, two minute penalty. One pound, seven ounces. I'll take it. First one championship Sunday. And we're in the penalty box. We've eliminated what we didn't need to be doing. We've got that out of our head. Now we're gonna go do what we need to be doing. Just fight it for so long. That's what I did the first day. Wouldn't pick that shaky head up. Pick it up, start catching them. I would hate to just get a few bites on this frog and just keep it in my hand all day. I would hate that for I would hate for that to happen. I just know what can happen with that buzz bait though. You might not get but a couple bites on them. They'd be good ones. I told you we were gonna catch one on this dock. I wanna try this dock again because it was a bunch of fish. 
right beside it. That when I caught that one, like it was a bunch right there. So I want to try this. Large mass. Casey Ashley caught his second bass, weighed one pound and eight ounces. He is now in first place with two pounds and 15 ounces. You now need nine ounces to take the lead. Feels like a good one. Yeah, he'll score. Stay out of there. Stay out of that dock. Stay out of that dock. Maybe not, dude. He, he'll score. He'll score. Surely that's a pounder. That one's bigger than the last couple. One pound, six ounces. Six. Right there. One pound, one ounce. One, one. OK. We're on the board. The bites that are happening right now, there's no reason I couldn't win it doing this right here. It's just we're going to have to find out which docks are holding fish. Well, he felt big when I stuck him. I thought that was maybe going to be a largemouth. He was shallow, too. I need to rig a quarter ounce up. There's two of them right under me. Fletcher just hopped like three docks in front of us and caught the last fish. I don't know if he started on that dock or the, must have started on this dock right in front of us. No, nope, he didn't start on that one. Finally, I get a bite. Catch one at least. One pound, five ounces. Okay, one five. There you go. <laughs> hour and 30 minutes remaining in this period. So we've only fished an hour, huh? So far. Seems like we've already fished an eternity. And just like that. Get in the boat, baby. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. And that's why we made that move. One pound, seven ounces. One seven. We're on, uh, on the board. I think I'm done fishing docks in pockets. We'll see if our luck don't change out on this thing. This water been in the 60s back here. These fish all be chewing. That makes me feel really good. We've literally done it less than five minutes, and we've already put one in the boat. You have to work. You have to grind to find that pattern. Once you find it, you can hammer down. Fishing is not great, so I need to capitalize as much as I possibly can while I can. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing. One pound, eight ounces. One eight. I'll take him. Number two. Long way to go. Two of us tied for last? Yes, sir. You and Mr. Crochet. I hadn't panicked all week. I don't plan on panicking now. Our final eight competitors are on the northern section of Lake Wiley, and six have made their way onto the score tracker so far. Fletcher Shryock is leading the pack, but only by a few ounces over Casey Ashley. These pros competed on the southern section of Lake Wiley to advance to today's championship round. Will forward momentum from the previous rounds pave the path to victory? Marty Stone breaks it down in today's Wiley X Eyewear, more than meets the eye. In this championship round, we've got two anglers that are truly dialed in. Brent Ayler and David Dudley have done something that you normally don't see done in cups. They're pitching and skipping light stick worms way up under boat docks. Ayler, he's using the Nico rig. Dudley, old school shaky head. But both of them are targeting the heavier poles on these boat docks and the biggest shade areas. They got dialed into that dock pretty early in the sudden death round, and they were out before the first period. Thank you, Lord. Now, they don't know what it's like to be on this lake in that second and third period, and that bite goes away. It's strong, fast and furious first thing in the morning, but the anglers then have to make an adjustment, and it's going to be interesting to see if Dudley and Ayler can make that adjustment. But right now, to me, the money favorite is Dudley or Ayler. What does Fletcher have? Three pounds, 12 ounces. Three, 12, OK. Thank you. I'm really starting to slow down. I don't know if that's good or not. 
how to pull in here and catch one almost immediately, and now we can't get a bite. Just doesn't make sense. I caught one in one of my previous rounds on a bridge. There have been some fish using them a little bit. It's not quite cold enough for them to be great, but they have been using them a little bit. These are the type of docks you can catch a big largemouth on. Since it's early in the morning, I'm going to keep running them. I've caught one largemouth doing this. But I'm not going to wait too much longer before I get back out on the main lake and start running point docks. There he is. Oh, yeah. That's a scoreboard. Mm. Oh! David, that's a fish landing violation. Too that that was scoreable, too. Gosh! Putting the fun rods away. Don't think I'm going to get to fish like that. If it gets towards the end of the day and I lose by less than a pound, that'll be like the Jim Bitter story. I had him in the boat. We caught one doing what we were doing the other day, and there's two really pretty uh, sets of marina docks over here, so hopefully we can go over there and get it done. At least this let me know that it was still working. Maybe these are where the winning fish are. I feel pretty confident that we're going to catch them today. I really I really feel good. I just... Big one. Yeah, really big one. A little large mouth. Ain't that little. It's a good one there. One pound, 15 ounces. Almost a two pounder. Hey, large mouth baby. Two pounds, four ounces. Heck yeah, two pound spot. Look at that thing. Healthy, healthy. If you're gonna catch a five pound large mouth, that's the kind of place it'll happen. That fish was in about a foot of water, real shallow up there. Shaking that thing along, and goes, whoop. <laughs> that was awesome. You said Dudley's just got one? Last time I checked, he did. Gosh, what a, got the worm. What an idiot. You gotta make a move. Gotta go find something that looks pretty. We'll end up having to spend a little bit of time graphing and looking for them, but that's how I was able to make it through sudden death. It's probably my last cast on this dock. I think I see one where I just threw. And I got him. I don't know how big he is. Pretty good one. I saw him out there. And I'm like, if I don't catch him, on this cast. Oh, shoot. I just lost an ounce. <laughs> One pound, nine ounces. He squirted. Ugh. All right, we're going to get out of here. We'll shoot out there and be some of that main lake stuff. It's spending way too long on these things, but I mean, it's very possible to catch two or three off one that they're on. Score tracker update. I'm about to give you a score tracker update. Oh, yeah. You ain't getting off, sucker. You ain't getting off. One pound, zero ounces. Thank you, Lord. I would honestly be surprised if I got bit off this, Doc. I'm going to quiz you. Why do you think I say that? Because it's new. Yep. Brand new. There's a good one. We about to make a run on it. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. David Dudley has caught his third fish. He now has three pounds, 15 ounces. Guess I better get in gear here, huh? They're right underneath my trolling motors, like 10 of them. The whole school is right there. You have one hour. Maybe several under that one. Boy, they were biting it. 
One pound, five, one pound, six ounces. One six, that's better than one five. Looks like we about to get the lead, boys. Stupid! Gosh! That's what you get for getting cocky. Darn it! The way he bit it, it acted like there may be a little wolf pack of them under that one. And he bit it, and I missed him. Bit it again, and I missed him. Like they were fighting over it. I'll be close. 15 ouncer. One pound, one ounce. One, 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 I'll take him. That's too large mouth. A lot of brush on this dock here. There's a few under there, guys. Notice where he was, though. Shallow corner, right where large mouth is supposed to be. You're still one pound, six ounces out of the lead. That's about to change. That's about to change. Mm-hmm. That's about to change. David Dudley caught his fourth bass. He is in second place with five pounds, two ounces. Well, how much do I have? You have five pounds, five ounces. Uh-oh. Golly, they're out here looking at me. It's 10 of them right there. 10 of them. Golly. I'd like to find me a little stretch that I felt like had some fish on it instead of just so random. It's the only dock around this whole flat. That's why they're here. Everyone's catching a one pound fish, so we're right there. We're one scoreable away from the lead. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing for the Lucas Oil Challenge Cup. Presented by B&W Trailer Hitches from Rock Hill, South Carolina. Oh, there we go. Little guy. Don't think he would have made it. We're just going to say he wouldn't have. Get away from that main lake at all. Seems like uh, you ain't getting a bite. They're, all, they're right underneath our trolling motors, like 10 of them. With period one coming to a close, weights on the score tracker are tightening up. David Dudley has closed the gap on Fletcher Shryock's lead to just three ounces by catching spotted bass off of docks. The weather conditions are tough, and these South Carolina bass are presenting quite the challenge in this championship round. My guess is most of these guys are spinning rodding, shaky heading, drop shotting. Stuff like that, you know, boat docks and rocky bank, whatever. Not that I can't do that or don't, or just despise it, but this is a way to run away with it if you get on them. Dude, I'm not seeing them here. I'm just not. I mean, I see one, and I'll take one. They're like right in between this, I believe. Maybe this next dock and the dock after might be the ones that are better. Those back there, the poles were too shallow. Spot in a large mouth. Come on, go a pound. He'll go a pound. One pound, zero ounces. I'll take it. One pound, three ounces. One, three. We got a spot and a large mouth off that dock. That's bite number three there. I told you I thought there was more fish on that dock than one. The spots have a little more sauce on them when, they, when you hook one than a large mouth. That large mouth is kind of like, ah, I'm going to give up. Here I come. The spot's like, hang on, I got to jump five feet in the air first. Oh, there we go. There's a good one. Get in the boat. Yeah. Gosh. Fish landed violation. Two minute penalty. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Shoot. Two pounds, two ounces. 
Two two should weigh three pounds the way he's built or the way his head is. But whoop. Shoot. Ah, they should have been one right there. We're gonna shoot over here to these docks. That helps, gives me a little bit of momentum. You know, it makes me wonder what, what, where I would be sitting right now had I done this from the get-go. But we're not out of it by any means. Uh, you know, we're going to be right there close, and all we need is one more bite, and we're leading this thing. Boy, they're definitely on certain stretches and not on others. I don't know why. Everything else is the same. Depth is the same. The docks are the same. Why are they not on these, but they're on the other ones? A good one there. Yeah, I said he was just a mean spot. One pound, seven ounces. Yep, we'll take him. Casey Ashley just caught a one pound, seven ounce. He is now in first place with six pounds, 12 ounces. Let old Casey carry it for a little bit. We got to keep catching them. Fish this next dock, and then we're rolling. There he is. Get in the boat. Yeah, baby. Slide touch. Gosh, I was about to say there ought to be one there. Two pounds, 11 ounces. 211. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> Brent must have caught a good one. Chapman caught a 211. Mm hmm Bringing him within five ounces of you. Well, the one thing that really caught my attention here, there's a boat lift that's down under the water. So it's something a little bit different that uh, those fish can kind of set around and they sit on top of them in ambush bait or sit next to them. And uh, it definitely seems like when you get around the right section of the lake or area, you get a couple bites. And I, mean, I haven't had a bite in a while. Big one. Large mouth. One minute. Come here. He's not very big. I should have just both with this fish, but he's not even as big. He's a pound and a half, or, but he'll score. Yes, sir. No more of those 15 ounces, OK? <laughs> OK. You say 15 ounces, I'm going to question you. <laughs> one pound, 12 ounces. Pound three quarters. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Lines out into the first period of the championship round. Well, the first period didn't start like I'd hoped, but it ended like I hoped. So uh, we're right there in the hunt now. I've got something to build off of. There's several more marinas right here close that I hadn't fished. What I'm going to do going forward is just glue this frog in my hand, cover water, and look for quality baits and try to beat them or try to get back in the game with just a few quality baits instead of trying to get numbers of baits. I'm going to keep at it, because I think I can get in the right area and catch two or three fish and get right there close to that lead. So we're going to keep plugging away. Second period, I got to focus a little bit more, make sure I execute when I do get bit, because we had five or six of them steal my worm, just blah, 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 blah. I'm not in first place. I think being the first guy through some of these good stretches of docks is going to be the difference in the first and sixth. A lot of times, these main creek docks would be just as good as the main lake stuff. That doesn't seem to be the case. Every time we would get off the main lake, it was a struggle to get a bite. So that's what we're going to stick with the next period. See if we can't close this thing out. General Tire's Major League Fishing is brought to you by B&W Trailer Hitches, Towing Adventure, Yeti, built for the wild, Builder's First Source, combining to serve you. Mercury Marine, go boldly. And by Academy Sports and Outdoors. After the first period, I was in the lead, but it's not like I had a big cushion. It's not like I had anything figured out because I had already ran into two other guys doing the same thing I was doing. So I knew I had to at least get in the area that hadn't been fished. Period one break, I felt really good. I don't think anyone felt like we had an advantage over the other. It was just a matter of who's figuring something out that's going to take them through the day into the third period, because weights are so tight. I wasn't leading, but I was right there within striking distance, maybe a pound or two. There was at least two, if not three, marinas that I still hadn't fished. So 
I was pretty excited for my chances. I'm sitting not far outside of the top three. I know I'm doing the right thing. I know I'm catching the right quality of fish that score, but I'm just not putting them in the boat. After losing a couple fish, I wanted to make sure I had sharp hooks. I had actually broken off multiple fish in the first period, so I was hectically tying new leaders on. My game plan going back out in the second period was to go down on the zone, fish that lower end, maybe go fish the bridge, and try to fish some deeper stuff. I'm not up there in the top three, but I'm not out of it either. It's kind of a grind, but it's playing into my hands that the fishing is similar to the way it was in the sudden death round, and I feel like all I need to do now is just get in the right areas and get the right bites and hopefully get them in the boat. While our pros fuel up for period two, let's take a look at the score tracker. The top three anglers are stacked up tight after making a late charge at the end of period one. Casey Ashley holds the lead. He's our builder's first source, angler one, heading into the second period. Everyone is looking for an area that will produce multiple bites, and one magic stretch could lead to a championship victory. Man, it's hard when you know how many largemouth used to live in here. It kind of sucks you into those pockets every now and then, but I mean, the biggest largemouth I caught the other day was out on the main lake with those spots, so that's what we're gonna do this period. We are going to run main lake docks. We're sitting in second place, and there's enough marinas I've seen that I won't be able to fish them all. And one of these times I'm gonna get in one, I'm gonna catch a pretty good bunch of fish. I think I'm gonna have to hop around a lot more. Stomp on the hot foot and run that mercury to as many places as we can today. Hopefully some of them guys ain't fishing docks and whatever they're doing will slow down a little bit. I think the dock bite's gonna get better. I mean, as the sun gets higher, it's gonna make them more predictable and put them in that darker shade, so the dock bite's just gonna get better, in my opinion. Three, two, one. Good. All right, you can go. Pretty good. Might as well fish them. Start working our way down instead of working our way up. I decided since we're closer to the rendezvous point to get, give this marina a try. We've ri driven by it a couple times, and it's got all the right ingredients, so uh, hopefully we can keep the momentum going. A bad cast. I was just reeling it in as fast as I could. One pound, two ounces. That's a third bite, one dock. All right. Two pounds, one ounce. Here we go. I love you. You now need one pound and seven ounces to take the lead. One seven. Yes, sir. Big bass of the day coming up. Just keep fishing. Get enough stuff and catch a couple. Maybe better get back into it, who knows? It seems like a place where a lot of tournaments would go out of on this lake. It's a really big, nice ramp, middle part of the lake. Maybe there'll be release fish around here, I'm not sure. It's a two pounder again. Two pounder. Here we go. Two pounds, two ounces. All right. That helps the cause right there. Two pounder. That's two bites I've, two scoreable bites I've had. I put one in a boat, shallow docks, two, two to four foot of water. I, I got some more of that coming up. I actually lost one on this dock earlier. So we were driving by and I went, you know what? I'm going to stop there. Why not? And bingo. I'm gonna fish about two more docks down through here, and if we don't... Score the spot. One pound, two ounces. One, two. Man. It's like a 14-inch spotter bass that weighed one, two. 
system. I shook that thing down there for a long time. I mean, I moved it, but it wasn't throw it in, jiggle a few times, and get out of there. I, was, I worked it for a long ways before that one bit. Well, I said we're going to fish two more docks if we don't set the hook. Maybe we'll fish a few more. I'll tell you, the biggest thing that's going to make a difference today is one big bite for any of us. One or two big ones will go probably the distance. Oh, get in here. Yeah. How about that? Brent Chapman has caught his fifth bass. It was one pound, 15 ounces. Moves him into first place with nine pounds, eight ounces. Casey moves you to second with nine one. All right, we're going to have to go back up. We done run out of water now. But every tree like this has a sweet spot. I mean, you might have this whole thing, and it all looks awesome, but there's typically one little sweet spot in it that, you know, that might be where there might be a couple fish, but you got to find that sweet spot. I saw that joker. I saw him come down on it. I saw him sitting there the whole time. One pound, three ounces. Let's get a couple more. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. Stay on that thing. Yeah, how about that? Oh. <laughs> three pounds, four ounces. Three, four. Look at that. What a beauty. <laughs> Oh. oh, my goodness. Brent Chapman just caught a three pound, four ounce. There's the game. That's what I was talking about. He's in the lead with 12 pounds and 12 ounces. Man, that's a kicker. Catching a big one. That's like catching three scoreables. I guess this stop's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> How cool was that? Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing. We're about to get to the magic dock. This is prime. A lot of people down here doing the same thing, running the same docks. Look at that. You got to get in that right area, and that's where they bite. If you're not in that right area, it doesn't matter how good the docks look. Stay on that thing. Yeah, how about that? Oh. <laughs> Sometimes you got to think outside the docks. It's working for Brent Chapman. He's taken control of the lead and set the Berkeley Big Bass Bar at three pounds, four ounces. A few more of those, and Chapman could be tough to catch. The Challenge Cup trophy is up for grabs, and there's more than one way to the top. Here's Marty Stone for today's six-hour success in sight. In this championship round and all throughout sudden death, every one of the day's competitors has either used a drop shot, a Nico rig, or a shaky head under boat docks. That is with the exception of one, and that one angler's been Brent Chapman. In this sudden death round on the lower part of Lake Wiley, he started dialing in a vibrating jig bite. It first started under boat docks in the back of Main Lake Pockets. And then he found the key to success in that sudden death round. He found one marina that had old school white styrofoam floats under it and did some damage and got out in a hurry. Now Chapman in this championship round had early success in period number one around the marinas. But in period number two, he knew he had some hard choices to make. Do you refish that water and hope more fish replenish and reposition? Or do you add some additional water to the rotation? Chapman's chose to do the latter. He's running main lake pockets in the backs of the creeks. In each one of these pockets, there's additional stain in the water, few boat docks, an occasional lay down. And on a lake like Wiley, that's going to hold some resident largemouth. Chapman, in this championship round, he chose to do one thing, and that's fish his strength and go against the grain. And so far, he's being rewarded. Kind of that time of year, you just have to give them the one-two punch, and sometimes there's some that just want a bait dropped on their head. I really don't know what to tell you. I'm just going to ride till I see something that looks good, whether it's deep, shallow, or in between. 
try to get something to jump out and bite me. That's what I need. I'd only got one fish. Yesterday he had two slow periods, and then he come back and made the cut from out of nowhere. I got to get a good stop, catch two to get caught up. Oh, I hit, dang! Mm. Gosh! That one was good. He had already, oh my gosh, it makes me so mad. <sighs> what a horrible day I've had today. It's pretty hot for almost October. It's a dock kind of day, though. Some of the best dock flipping days. Small, I don't know, maybe, maybe a pound. I think he'll go. That's a good one. Another two pounder. One pound, two ounces. One, two. One pound, 11 ounces. One three quarter. Brent Ayler's caught another fish. He's now in fourth place with eight pounds, seven ounces. Alton Jones Jr.'s caught another fish, one pound, two ounces, moves him into second place with nine four. Casey, you're in third with nine one. We about to catch this one right here. Maybe a big one. Good place for a big one. I'd say there's a good chance we'll get a bite off this dock, seeing as I got three off of that last one. We're gonna run out of here. I don't see him there like I did, so. Alton Jr.'s last one was uh, one pound, two ounces. Fletcher's last one was one pound, three ounces. Scoreable. Score you, Bill. Barely scoreable. One pound, one ounce. <laughs> Gotta find them. I'll try a little blade of jig. I feel pretty confident old Chapman is probably throwing one. It's been a good stop, but man, I thought we'd catch a fish or two off these docks. Come on, Brent, you got a good cushion. Let's keep that cushion going. I was fishing way too fast, I think, before. I would cast it in there and shake it what I thought was long enough and then reel it in. You get it in there and just let it marinate for a long time in there. Fletcher Shrock has caught his seventh fish. Weighed one pound, one ounce. He now has eight pounds and 11 ounces. Dude, seven fish for eight pounds, man, that's crazy. Good one. Fletcher, if you get out, it'll be an out of the boat violation. What a mess. He was caught in fishing line. How do I do this? Well, if I have to bring the boat back to you, it's going to be a 15 minute penalty. 15? 15 minute penalty. Well, this is how we do it, I guess. I got this fish, someone else's fishing line. Probably going to get shot. Fletcher is on a penalty right now. He has eight pounds, 11 ounces now. Yeah, you know, it seems like nobody catches anything, and then everybody catches one. He better go a pound. 14 ounces? No way. Non-scorable bass. Oh, that's a big one, I think. Oh, he's not that big, but he's scoreable. Mm. 
One pound, six ounces. Chipping away. Man, it's such a grind. Keep grinding, but next period, I'm, I'm out. I gotta go somewhere else. That's what he was caught in. I could have lifted him over. There's another one under there. Why not? I want a back to backer. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing. It's no secret that boat docks have been the name of the game on Lake Wiley. Brent Ayler has been climbing the score tracker by honing in on main lake docks, as you can see here in today's favorite fishing overview of the day. Although he still holds the top spot, Brent Chapman's bite has gone cold. Brent Ayler made a big jump into second place, and Alton Jones Jr. has been slowly chipping away at Chapman's lead as well. With the clock winding down in period two, Chapman has some tough decisions to make. Now I'm really torn what to do this final period. Only fished two, two or three real laydowns and caught two fish out of them. And I've seen some nice laydowns up the lake, too. I hadn't seen anybody fish this stretch in a while. We caught a few up there here earlier. If I don't get bit off of this dock, we're going to roll. I think that's Casey right there. God, there is somebody right there. It's like I hit that lull. People say, oh, yeah, numbers, numbers. But man, you catch a couple decent ones. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to throw That's that at right. you. Take I'll, that. Hey, wait till I weigh your next fish. <laughs> Come here, Mr. Spot. It's crazy, I was just about to roll up and leave. Two pounds, two ounces. Two, two, big old spot. Nice one there. Ott Defoe has moved ahead of you into seventh. His total is four pounds, six ounces. And Cliff, you are in eighth currently with two pounds, one ounce. Yeah, I'd like to order a large miracle with the uh, squincher and Crockett Creek on the side. Two two on a shaky head. Bass Pro Shops, cut tail worm, plum color. And that fish is on the perfect dock out here on the point. It's decent water under it. Perfect place for sure. I'm coming to you. Stay away from those power poles. You got me on the power pole there for a second. Gosh, the fish is strong. I'm gonna try to lose this fish is what's about to happen. I think I got him up good, though. Come here. Come here. There's a two-something. One pound, 15 ounces. Wow. Two, two pounds, eight ounces. I missed Oh, I was it. like, are you serious? Told you I'd get even with Come two on. Pounds. <laughs> I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Two pounds, eight I ounces. I was like, am I that bad? <laughs> <laughs> I, dude, I was about to make you re-weight. Re I was like, there's oh, no. no way. Alton Jones caught his ninth fish. He now has 13 pounds and three ounces, moving you down into second place. How far behind him am I? You are seven ounces. We have ourselves another scoreable bass. One pound, one ounce. Yes. Scoreable bass, baby. See, I could throw a bait caster. I could throw a bait caster. Storable bass. Shaky head and main lake docks on points. Maybe a pattern. That's a good one. That's a real good one. Oh gosh, that's a big one. Oh gosh, that's a giant spot. Good grief, that's a giant spot, you guys. There we go, look at that spot, you guys. Look at that spot. <laughs> wow. Three pounds, five ounces. 
Look at that spotted bass, a three pounder. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Brent Ayler just caught his eighth bass. It was three pounds, five ounces. Moves him into first place with 14 pounds, three ounces. That's a big one. Shoot, I'll take a three. My goodness. Heck yeah. I need to catch 20 pounds next period. Possible? Possible, yes. Likely? Ah. Get in here, get in here, get in here. Got him hooked on a line. I don't know if he's gonna score or not. Pound seven ounces. Pound seven. Nice, nice, nice. Gotta keep rolling, fellas. One pound, one ounce. There we go. Hey, I'll take it. I could have swore that was gonna be another 15 ouncer. Elton Jones Jr. also caught one. He's now at 14 pounds, four ounces and you're at 15 pounds, 10 ounces. Boy, we both caught one right then, huh? Yeah, his last one was one pound, one ounce. Now, if you say one pound, one ounce, and then go, just kidding, 15 ounces, we're gonna have a problem. No, that's it. <laughs> just gonna throw that one out there. We're gonna have a problem if you, if you break my heart that way. <laughs> I can handle the other way. I don't pull the same trick twice. Okay, good to know. <laughs> I'm getting a little far behind. We're still in reach. I just gotta make a big move this next half. Gotta be one right here. It's a nice one. A score. It's a spot. He's spitting stuff up. Look how fat he is. One pound, seven ounces. One seven, he's all humpbacked. Alton Jones Jr. is down first, 15 pounds, 11 ounces. You're in second with 15 pounds, 10 ounces. He's catching pretty good. You know, I catch a three pounder. That's why I got up there quick, but he's catching more for sure. Right at five minutes, so. Five minutes, yeah. yeah. Okay, we are gonna move, but we're not gonna go as far as I thought we were. All right, let's hurry up. Hurry up, offense. Getting behind, boys. I don't like it. I don't like getting by. How are we not getting any bites off of this stuff now? Mm. I think he's gonna be right on the dot. One pound, two ounces. We gonna have to go back down the next period. Thought we may come up here and Find some fish that hadn't been beat to death. Five, four, three, two, one. Lines out into period two. Well, we gave it a run. We're right there, close. Alton's catching them pretty good. We're in second place right now. I think I've got some fish figured out. Uh, we're gonna have to capitalize on our bites. It went good there for a while, but uh, we kind of stubbed our toe there at the end. We just didn't get any more bites. You know, if I get on that right roll in the third period, I got a good chance of winning this thing. We've got to fish 100%, catch our bites, and if we do that and manage to catch a three pounder in the process, we might be going home with a challenge cup. General Tire's Major League Fishing is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Squincher, hydration that works. Favorite fishing, the future of fishing. Toyota. Let's go places. And by Toro. Count on it. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing. The anglers are in the final break of the 2022 Lucas Oil Challenge Cup. Watch that score track of this period. You'll see. Dude, that three pounder was awesome. Plenty of three or four pounder this period. Maybe going a few pockets that we haven't been in. Hopes to catch one big large mouth. While they formulate a game plan for period three, Let's take a look at the score tracker. Brett Ayler and Alton Jones Jr. have their foot on the gas and show no signs of letting off. Both anglers have more than doubled their weight in period two, 
and are dialed into a dock pattern that seems to be getting stronger. Alton Jr. pulled in three bass in the final minutes and holds the lead heading into the final period. For more on that, let's go out to Marty Stone for today's Yeti Cooler Talk. A sudden death round, you got dialed into these boat docks and you've carried this over in the championship round. What's going on under these docks? You know, uh, I think these fish are still kind of in that late summer funk. They haven't really transitioned to fall. I wouldn't call these fish even bait chasers or shad chasers. I think they're eating brim. I've kind of got a one-two punch. I'm fishing the very, very outside corners of these docks, catching a few spots. And then on some of these docks, you've got the deep, dark shade up there. More shallow than you'd think a bass would be in the summertime or late fall, and uh, that's where I'm catching the largemouth. So at the end of that second period, you went on a three-fish run. How big was that run? It was huge. Um, you know, I got a little bit excited. I said, give me a score tracker update, and then he said Ayler was just ounces behind me. So, I mean, he's catching them, too. I thought I'd maybe give myself a little separation there, but it's going to come down to the final period, and you wouldn't want to be anywhere else but first, but I've got work to do. Dad won heavy hitters in 2021. 2022, you got a chance to add some more trophies to the Jones household. What would it mean for you to close this thing out? It'd mean a lot, you know. I don't know until we get there. I've had several seconds in big pro-level tournaments. I've yet to get a win. Maybe today's my day, maybe not, but I'm trying not to think about it. I'm excited, but I'm not worried. Alton Jones Jr. has been strong in this championship round. Three fish run, he got the end of the second period, was big time important. One more period to hold off a bunch of hammers. Here we go, we're getting ready to go into the third period, and uh, we're not leading, but we're close, and that's all that matters. I mean, we're, we're one fish out of it right now, so uh, if I can go out and uh, get things going a little bit faster this period and just keep a momentum going, we can still win this thing. We're gonna glue a wacky Nico rig in our hand and um, pray for six, seven bites and hope we get them in the boat. You know, if I think we can, if we can catch 10 pounds, we're gonna go home with that trophy. We've got our work cut out for us. We need something really special to be able to have a chance at winning this thing. We're ready, baby. Third period. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Perfect, they're all going that way. I got this whole end of myself. What you do is pull in the right pocket and you can get well in a hurry. We have came up the river to start this period. We're not quite to the end of the zone, but we're up here a good ways. And I'm already loving what I'm seeing because there's some really good current flowing down through here. Alton's one scoreable ahead of me or two scoreables? He is one pound three ounces ahead of you. Okay. Yeah, if I don't get bit on this dock, we're out of here because it's this is just too pretty of a spot. Uh-oh. That one's gonna make it. Yes. Thank you, Lord. One pound, one ounce. A lot of times, those spots just get on that single pole right there, and they suspend just right. You just drop it right out in front of it. He ain't no giant, but any keeper is a good one. Thank you, Lord. Switched up to the drop shot. I had been catching him on the shaky head. One pound, four ounces. One four. These docks might be too deep and we're in a creek, so I just wanted to try this really fast while we we're up here. We're gonna leave and go back down the lake again. Every time I come back, it's the first couple cast. You know, they're set up. That one's gonna score. Right in four and five foot waves. Nice timing.
Haha. One pound, four ounces. Mm -hmm. One pound, five ounces. That's what I'm talking about. Making a run. Yeah, you better not let me get on that shave pattern. That'd just be too easy. There's so many of them up underneath there. It's hard for me to leave. Especially when you just caught three pounds, you know? I'm definitely cycling this behind somebody, but if I can get bit here, that'll give me a lot of confidence, because when I finished up over there, there was somebody right here. The fish was just sitting there holding it. One pound, one ounce. Boy, he didn't have much to spare. I thought he was about a pound three or four. Golly, that was weird. Man, that thing was just sinking and sinking and sinking out the other side. You'll score. One pound, five, one pound, six ounces. Six, okay. Let's go. Alton Jones Jr. now has 18 pounds, three ounces. His last fish weighed one pound, six ounces. Now you're two pounds and nine ounces back. Oh, it was a waste. Almost out of here, you guys. I know this dock's been fished. The good thing is, is that right there tells me I can go behind guys and get bites, which is big. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing for the Lucas Oil Challenge Cup, presented by B&W Trailer Hitches from Rock Hill, South Carolina. There are five pounders sitting underneath you there. <laughs> Just need to borrow it for a minute. I'm not going to need 10 pounds, I don't think, like I thought. No, I'll need two or three more, though, in this last little bit. This comeback is getting further and further away from me. What's going on at the top? It's the championship round, and Alton Jr. holds a two-pound lead over Brad Ayler. David Dudley has added three bass to the score tracker this period, putting him well within reach as well. Brent Ayler's 3-5 is the current Berkeley big bass to beat. One big bite could determine the outcome of today's championship round. Good looking little pocket here. Maybe this is where we can get it down. We already fished this stuff. Never caught one, but I fished through a couple spots now where I didn't catch one and caught one. So let's we'll see what happens. It's the hardest part about these cup events. It's not like I've practiced out here and have docks to go to that I know have fish. I mean, you kind of just got to fish methodical and trust that you're putting it in front of a couple of them. The only ones you never have a chance at catching are the ones that never bite. You got to do what you got to do to get them to bite. That's goal one. There we go. Yes. Don't do it. One pound, six ounces. One six. Well, he smoked it, too. Brent Chapman has 14 pounds, two ounces. In case you have 10 pounds, five ounces. God, we need to catch one. This deal should have got better as the day went on. Seems so easy when you do it like that. Well, oh, that'd be a fish landing violation, Cliff. Two minute penalty. One pound, three ounces. Yes! Woo! Better late than never. And you get that one little spot where it's a little bit deeper water, and we catch one, and then it just flattens out. You just caught another scoreboard on a buzz beat, just running shade pockets. Should've been doing this all day. <laughs> oh, well. Man, she has got tough man. this last, you know, I, you know, this period, man. All right, we gotta do something. I'm gonna go back up in this creek right here. That's a magnum right there. Right where he should've been. Come here, buddy. Come right on up here. 
Yes, sir. That's the kind of fish we need. Yes. Three pounds, 14 ounces. Mm-hmm. Almost a four pound largemouth. Pretty one, baby. Finally got us a good fish. Ott Depot caught a three pound, 14 ounce. Moved him to sixth place with nine pounds and five ounces. Mm-hmm. You can't expect to not catch one. He really wasn't going spook, and I pitched my drop shot out in front of it, and he didn't bite. I just put on a little creature bait, 12-pound line, and I ain't fished with it very long at all. He caught me a good one. Yes. Big one. Big one. Aha. Two pounds, five ounces. Too five. They got them a nail biter going on up there now, don't they? You're four ounces back. You need oh one score. Oh boy, of... four ounces. You need one scoreable fish. No way. Nice to catch like a five pounder and just kind of put it away right now. That's what I'd like to do. Let's not have much drama here at the end. How much time? 57 minutes. Oh my goodness. It's getting interesting, fellas. We're not out of it yet. Dude, I really think if I can catch me like four more pounds, just two good ones or just three scoreables, we'll, we'll seal the deal on this thing or, or one giant. Scoreable. Take your time, Brent. Just take your time, get him in the boat. That's scoreable. One pound, four ounces. <laughs> Come on! Brent Ayler caught another fish. He's at 19 pounds and three ounces, and you're 18 pounds, three ounces. OK. I got nothing left to stress about now. It's not mine to lose. Let's go. That's what all the kids say. Let's go. The boys is dogging it out over there now. We're going to have to catch a few more. And I know that was going to be the case. Uh, we got a, got about an hour left in this deal. I got to catch three more bass. Got to hit the right little stretch of docks. Either that or one great big giant one. Got to catch one more. Two pound lead, and I'll have a legitimate chance. Welcome back to General Tire's Major League Fishing. Two pounds, five ounces. Two five. <sighs> Come on, just need a couple of them to swim off, that's all. Got to catch one more. Two pound lead and I'll have a legitimate chance. We're in the final minutes of the championship round and Brent Ayler has overtaken Alton Jr. with a one pound lead. Brent Chapman has managed to stay in the hunt and is only five pounds away from running them down. Only one of these anglers will earn the title of Challenge Cup champion. For the rest of the field, the higher they finish, the higher the paycheck. All right, let's go to our honey hole. That could move us, move us up a couple thousand dollars. I need another fish in a bad way. Decided to run back into the back of a creek here, and we'll try to hit as much shade as we can possibly hit here. Somebody's going to go on a flurry here, and I just hope it's me. Nobody's done it yet this period. One more cast, we peel them. Good decision, Fletch. Good decision. Ooh. Came back to this dock for the third time. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. 
Nice little large mouth. On a buzz bean. It's a good spot. Two pounds, three ounces. Well, he looked big after catching a bunch of one pounders. <laughs> one pound, 12 ounces. One twelve. I love you. Proper release. No fish landing violation. Good clutch call. I just said last cast right there. This game just doesn't end, guys. <laughs> it just doesn't end. There's one. Not the time you think it's all over. Is it? Gosh. Fish landing violation. Two minute penalty. Oh, dang it. One pound, nine ounces. One nine? One pound, nine ounces. All right. Shoot. Brent Chapman caught another fish out, and it weighed one pound, nine ounces. He's at 15 pounds, 11 ounces. Dang it, dude. I had so much confidence in that really, really shallow bite, and I just I haven't gotten that bite going this period. Man, if we could just get in here and catch three or four of those, we'd be right back in this thing. I need to catch another two pounder and then a one pounder, because then Alton would have to catch two, you know, decent ones. It wouldn't be Major League Fishing if there wasn't a little back and forth. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Get up, get up. I got him out. Oh, yeah, I think this is a big one. Nice. Oh, yeah, baby. It's my biggest one. One pound, 15 ounces. Mm. One pound, 15 ounces. Dave Dudley just caught a one pound, 15 ounce fish. Moved his total 11 pounds, 15 ounces. Well, I need to get to six. You need one pound, one ounce. Non scorable. Non-scorable. Boy, I got excited. Be more than a pound and an ounce. Oh, he is. Black crack. <laughs> That's a pretty nice one. I don't know if it'll move me up a spot or not. I sure hope it does. Man, I sure hope he does. Two pounds, two ounces. Yeah. I really want to reach high my leader and all that. I just don't feel like I have time. I'm gonna take my chances and make more cast. Oh. Oh. Got him. I thought one hit that. Gosh darn it, no. No, no, no. I saw one under there, and it was a good one. I don't know if it was a bass, but let's hope he's up there and wants to bite this time. Please, Lord, we need a two-pounder. One scorable bass. The boys is dogging it out over there now. I don't have a clock up here, so keep me, give me like every minute if you don't mind. I don't mind at all. Good one. Good one. Stay on fish. Stay on fish. Oh, he's this is scorable. Well, that's what I need. Yes. One pound nine ounces. All right. Yes! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Brent Ayler just caught a one pound, nine ounce fish. He's at 20 pounds, 12 ounces. You're now two pounds and nine ounces behind. OK. How much time? 20 seconds. I needed that one in a bad, bad, bad way. Come on. Tell you what, I had the bites today. Those three I broke off. Five, four, three, two, one. Lines out. I got goosebumps right now. I'm going to wait until you tell me it's official. No changes. I'm shaking really bad. Congratulations. You sure? No changes. <laughs> it's about freaking time. Oh my goodness. 2022 Challenge Cup champion. Yeah, I'm speechless. You know, it's 
It's been a long time since I won. And it's been eating away at me. I think I got it. <laughs> I'm crying. Sucks to finish second, but that's a pretty solid week. Decent payday. I'm going to get another shot. Congratulations to, to Brent and Alton and you know, all the guys. I mean, it was a tough week this week, so to just make it to championship round is uh, just an awesome deal. Uh, you know, they kept the pace all day. You know, hats off to Brent. Great job. You got them. I don't know if you figured out the California finesse deal here, but you kicked tail in South Carolina. Good job, buddy. With this group of guys, you know, they're so good. They're so hard to beat, and they're getting better every year. You know, it's been a couple years since I won one. I've had a few close calls. This is a uh, you know, smaller field, but uh, it's freaking awesome. General Tire's Major League Fishing is brought to you by General Tire. Anywhere is possible. Six Sour, never settle. Abu Garcia, fish to win. Powered by Optima Batteries. And by Barbasol Shaving Cream and Razors, a close, comfortable shave for the past 100 years. 23 Major League Fishing pros qualify through the Bass Pro Tour to compete in Rock Hill, South Carolina for the Lucas Oil Challenge Cup trophy. Eight anglers battled through the elimination and sudden death rounds to earn their chance to become a champion. Lake Wiley was the proving grounds, and beneath the docks is where it all went down. Fletcher Shryock and Casey Ashley led the charge early on in period one, although it didn't take long before the rest of the field clued in to what would become the dominant pattern on Lake Wiley. Look at that spotted bass, a three pounder. It was a dock bite battle to remember as the championship field went bass for bass and blow for blow. Yes, 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 yes. Today's Barbasol close shave goes to Brent Ayler. He edged out Alton Jones Jr. by two pounds, nine ounces to earn the title of Challenge Cup champion. Now I'm speechless. The Berkeley Big Bass of the day goes to Ott Defo. In period three, Ott landed this three pound, 14 ounce bass, which landed him a bigger paycheck. Yes, sir. Almost a four pound large mouth, pretty one. The biggest paycheck goes to Brent Ayler. Let's catch up with the Challenge Cup champion and see his winning rig in Bass Pro Shops end of the line. I'm Brent Ayler, and this is the bait that I used to win the 2022 Challenge Cup. It is a standard NACO rig that is essentially a plastic worm with a nail weight in the head, a wacky rig hook in the middle. There we go. Look at that spot, you guys. Look at that spot. And I was able to skip this around boat docks and catch enough weight to win the tournament. Yes! <laughs> it was a monumental day on Lake Wiley. Brent Ayler reclaimed his title of Challenge Cup champion with a total weight of 20 pounds and 12 ounces. The same numbers as the year of his first Major League Fishing win. In 2012, a young FLW pro would be one of 24 anglers to participate in the first ever catch, weigh, and release format that pioneered a new way of competitive bass fishing. These anglers converged in Del Rio, Texas for six days of competition on Lake Amistad. <laughs> I found <him. laughs> Five pounder. Brent Ayler not only excelled through the first two rounds of competition, he dominated all three periods of the championship round to win the first Challenge Cup trophy. And while he's made multiple championship appearances in Major League Fishing, the title of champion has been elusive until today. Let's send it over to Marty Stone, who's with the Challenge Cup champion, Brett Ayler. 2012, we rolled into Del Rio, Texas. There was a young man, Chuck Taylor's, flat brim. We really didn't know what we had, if we're being completely honest. And when you walked out of there, you were holding the trophy. Fast forward it to 2022, 10 year anniversary of the Challenge Cup, and you win. Put in that perspective. Man, it's, uh, it's been a long time coming for sure. Great to have it happen, 10 year anniversary here at the Challenge Cup. And man, I was excited after the first two rounds here. You know, I won both rounds. I really felt like I kind of had things dialed. At least I, I had some good momentum. I felt like I was doing the right things. And 
I had that momentum here. I just felt, everything felt right. And I think that's what it takes to win. Dominated his elimination round. First man out on sudden death. And now is the winner of the 2022 Challenge Cup. This concludes the Lucas Oil Challenge Cup Championship, presented by B&W Trailer Hitches from Rock Hill, South Carolina. Until the next MLF event, thanks for watching General Tire's Major League Fishing. <laughs>